how to factor polynomials using greatest common monomial factor or the GCMF. There are five steps. Five steps. These are, let us take this example, 6x cubed plus 4x squared y. <clears throat> this uh, expression is a binomial, two terms, 1, 2. Now, first step. The first step is to find the greatest common factor of numerical coefficients for short of numbers numerical coefficient these are the numbers coefficients so what are those numbers here 6 and 4 6 and 4 simply determine the multiples or numbers if mo determine the numbers if we multiply those numbers will give you 6 so these are 2 times 3 for num for 4 it's simply 2 times 2 the greatest common factor is 2 so your GCF is That's for step one. Step two. In step two is find the common variable. Common common variable. Common variable with with the list. With the least exponent in each term. So going back. So this is our term, first term, second term. So which of these has or which is the common variable? The common variable here x we have x here we have also x here in the first we have a uh, common variable it's equals to x cubed and x squared 6x cubed and 4x squared why it has no partner it is not common it has no y here so only x it has x here and it has also x here then determine we have already the common variable determine also if we have already our common variable we need also to determine the least with the least 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 or they said as the smallest So exponent, the smallest exponent each time. So in this two, which is the ex least exponent. So the least exponent here is <coughs> least exponent, very obvious, it's x squared. X squared. Step 3. Step 3 is to multiply the results of step 1 and step 2. So we will multiply the answers of step 1 times step 2. So our answer for step 1 is 2. 
while our answer for step 2 is x squared times or that represent as that x squared. So the answer here is 2x squared. 2x squared. Step 4. Step 4 is to divide the polynomial by the GCF to get the other factor or quotient. So simply, we will divide. What are the elements that we need to divide? So, we need to divide our given 6x cubed plus 4x squared y. What shall we divide? We will divide our 2x squared. So divide by 2x squared. Step by step. First, divide 6x cubed divided by 2x squared plus 4x squared y all over 2x squared. 6 divided by 2, 3. How about the exponent? Copy the it as a common exponent, x. Since it is division from the power of exponent or exponential power, it is if the exponent, if in case of division, if the operation is division, your exponent will be subtracted. Exponents will be subtracted. So therefore, your 2 will be brought with 3. So 3 minus 2. Plus. 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. So you have common x. Copy the x. So brought your 2 together with the 2 in the numerator. So 2 minus 2. Copy the y. Simplify. 3. x. 3 minus 2. 1. We will not anymore place 1. It is already understood. Only 1. Plus 2 x 2 minus 2 0 y Since it is already 0 we will already remove this It is already considered as 1 So our final answer is 3 x plus 2 y That is for step number 4. Last step, step 5. Step 5. Simply combine 2x squared. Place open close parentheses with 3x plus 2y 3x plus 2y If we will check or check in 2x squared open close parenthesis 3x plus 2y distribute 2 2 plus times 2, 4. Then, variables. x squared times x, x squared times x will give you just if, if, if it is, take note, if it is multiplication or multiply exponent, you will add them. Or multiply variables rather multiply variables 
multiply variables or uh, multiplying variables you will add the exponent add the exponent multiply variables multiplying variables at the exponent if you will divide variables subtract exponent so going back x squared times x will give you x add the exponent to it has imaginary number of 1 so 2 plus 1 3 then x squared since there is no x already here there is x squared and copy 1 therefore your answer here 